I made it. I made it. Well done. Well done. What are you making? I am making griddle scones, which means they don't need to go in the oven. You can just cook them in a pan. So when you really, really need scones really, really fast, you can just have them really fast. Do you know what I used to do with scones? What? Chuck them at the girls. Yay! Good morning, Denver. Good morning, America. Sarah Footwells. Hi, Sarah Footwells. Rachel Dodge. Hi, Rachel Dodge. Millie Parfait. Hi, Millie Parfait. T.D. Silver. Hi, T.D. Silver. Margaret O'Brien. Hi, Margaret O'Brien. Sue Norton. Hello. Alison Baxter. Hello. Rachel Roberts. Emma Claire Webb. Sonia I didn't have time Dine. to actually. Hello, all of you. Chats, people. Show them the dogs while I show Show them. you the doggy dog dogs. Here we go. Toby! Say hello. Toby. Hello, everybody. Say hello. 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 Isn't the weather amazing today, says T.D. Silver. The weather is beautiful. Come on, let's get on and do it. Okay. Right, so I have got 200 grams of plain flour. Actually, I'm going to put my griddle on a very, very low heat. So most people, I mean, this isn't really a griddle. What this is, is a very, very, is a heavy pan. So you need a heavy pan. See, that's a heavy pan to do a griddle scone. Because we're literally going to cook them right Did you know that, Chi Chi? Did you know you need a heavy... <laughs> so, in there, I have 200 grams of People love your pillow flour. challenge. Yay! That was fun today. We were a bit like, oh, we're really knackered. What can we do to cheer ourselves up? Let's be silly idiots. So, here I have 25 grams of either... Butter or margarine? Oh, which would you prefer, my Nad? I don't mind. I don't mind. And I'm just rubbing it in like that till I get like little breadcrumbies, till it's sort of gritty and grainy. That's helpful when I'm trying to teach people how to make something. That's annoying. God, I just fainted. No, you didn't. <laughs> I just fainted. So you see how I've rubbed that in now? And to that, I'm going to add 30 grams of sugar. I've just put caster sugar, but you could use brown sugar. Um, now I'm using plain flour. So that means I am going to have to add some raising agents. So now this is my Nan's recipe. It's not my recipe. Oh God, I haven't opened that before. Sorry, right, babe, you don't need to zero in on my hands trying to open this. Thank you. Okay, I'll zero in in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we need two teaspoons of that, and I've only got this half teaspoon, so it's very annoying. So that's, how many do I need if I've got a half and I need two teaspoons? How many do I need, Mark? How much did you say again? So I need two teaspoons, yeah. and this is a half teaspoon. So you need four, my darling. That's right. Yeah. And then this is, I need one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So that is two of these. Oh, listen. Let's oh. go to the end of the... Come here with me. Like an angel, Sonia Dine says. Oh. And then to that, I'm going to add a few raisins because Mark likes raisins in everything. Not too many, just a few. More. 
No, that's enough. More. That's enough. And then um, I'm going to add 100 mils of milk and see how we go. We might need 150. Give it a bit of a stir. Neve Snell is currently making your mama's spaghetti Ooh. and then taking it to her nan's house. Isn't oh, that lovely? Oh, nice. That's your recipe, babe. Oh, that makes me smile. Good. That makes me happy. So, yeah, I'm going to put the rest. Another 50 mils. It's a really funny thing with flour and with recipes because sometimes, and you really find this with bread, sometimes flour absorbs more or less i don't know what it is it's really weird listen guys if you don't have cream of tartar and bicarb you could use self-raising flour but i would put a bit more maybe put a teaspoon of baking powder with it okay so faith not... goodman says sir david attenborough is doing geography lessons on bbc online is he that'd be good oh, we should do oh, that definitely oh thanks for that yeah definitely want the girls to do that i could do with that my geography so See how lovely and soft that is. Really soft. Oh, it Ooh. feels so nice, guys. Looks soft and looks lovely. So these are great for scones if you're just in a bit of a hurry because they don't have to go into the oven. Beautiful. What if you can't get flour? You can't have them. <laughs> <laughs> no, there you go. Is that you asking that? Or no, no, someone just said I can't get flour. Well, anywhere. Yeah. Been able to get flour. Really? Yeah. I know it was like that for a while. Where have you tried to get flour? Hmm. Miss the beginning, please say what you're making. You know what's quite good? What you're it's making? Raisin, I'm raisin making scones. Rose, scones. Raisin griddle scones. And I'm going to cook them in that pan that's getting really nice and hot now. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit to get it a bit. So they're really great scones if you're in a hurry. So if you've just joined, it was 200 grams of plain flour, two gram, uh, two teaspoons, level, not heat, of cream of tartar, and one teaspoon of bicarb, uh, 30 grams of marjol butter. Same as Welsh cakes. Oh, sorry, 25 grams of margarine but or butter, and 30 grams of caster sugar, whatever sugar you uh, want. And then you're frying them. And then, yeah, well, mm, not really frying, you're griddling them, griddling them. Because okay. frying means in a lot of fat. Can you hear our daughter singing? It's beautiful. Go I just took them up there. She's right take the you size. there again. Shut the door. I think she knew we were down there. Did she? Yeah, she shut the door. She's a mad one. Um, so, oh, what I needed. Was so, Nadia did the pillow challenge today. I'm thinking of doing the cushion challenge later. You strap Get it. it out on you strap it to your head. In the thought that it's the second eyeball, well, third eyeball, if you're me. Um, there's Nads. I've got to do my chugging on Insta yesterday. Right, so now... I'm going to do it today, though, because I'm so, so thirsty. It's about a centimetre thick. I can see that. Someone's asking if you could do a, a homemade uneven. burger. It's a bit uneven. So... I'm going to really now. like this. Someone's asking if you can do a homemade burger one day. Yeah, sure. Tina Davis says, you make me laugh, Mark. Tina, I'm sending hearts back to you. That is so lovely. Great big hearts back to you, Tina. So lovely and soft, and they're going to take about five minutes to cook. And that's it? Yeah, and then we're wow. going to have them with honey, we can have them with jam and butter. Someone said they're like Welsh cakes. Yeah. Do you I know? I don't know. Well, these are Scottish, but yeah, they must be like Welsh I've never made Welsh okay. cakes. What are Welsh cakes like? Katie Brown says she loves how you cook. And how do I cook? What's my style? With serenity <laughs> and chaos, which is a... That's quite the truth, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you both okay, Angela Locks With asking. With clarity and fear. <laughs> Angela, why? Why do you ask? Do we look slightly frazzled? 
Well, let's say some hellos to people. Yeah. Well, they could have gone With peace and calmness. You look so relaxed when you cook, says Leanne Thorogood, until Bye. I turn up. Julie Neary, I have, oh, I have plain flour and baking powder. Is that okay? Yeah. Have you seen Janet cutting a fringe on this morning, Nadia? Yes, I did. Can I cut mine? <laughs> oh, oh, good trip. <laughs> Listen to your advice yesterday, Victoria Bradwell. Mark and Nadia had a lovely hot bubble bath this morning. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, and just got back from a one-hour walk along the river. Thank you, I'm feeling calm. Oh, that makes me so That makes happy. me want to do a little jig. That makes me so happy. That's the there way. That's called the uh, happy jig. You're inspirational, Nadia. Got me and my girls baking and cooking, says one of my favourite names in the world, Andrea Liberatsky. Oh, can I just show you underneath? Come and look. Sunshine helps Vicky Su Suzanne with her anxiety. It really does, doesn't it? And getting out in fresh air. So look, guys, we haven't been out for ages. Oh! So that's what you're kind of looking oh. for. Okay, so it's just going to cook a bit longer on that side and then we'll turn it over. Oh, but I can't tell you how soft, look how soft Can I see how it soft is. they feel, are? Feel it, Mark. Can I feel how soft it is? Yeah. Be careful with what you say. Oh, it's so soft. It's almost like a soft scone. So I'm going to turn it over so you're not waiting for too long. But it could have done with a little bit longer. Turn it over. Oh, look, Hattie. Mm. We watched Gogglebox last night, it was so funny. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that down. Because these heavy pans get really nice and hot. They hold the You couldn't do this in a thin frying pan. But if you've only got, I really would invest in one of these things. You can get them on Amazon, they're only a couple of quid, it's probably about four quid. And they. Um, Is that the one with the handle? They're really good, you can play table tennis with them. The Fiber. It's silly, that what? one. What? Don't get the one. Don't get the one with the wooden handle. Go for. Ooh. Someone said they're grand. Like hey. I'm going out in a min, start to crack, staying in, so getting out for an HR, but I will be fine, Alex Boston. Oh, What's an HR? Them. Look how they're rising. Look. Stay well, matey. Look. Oh, yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, Monster Mash 654, really struggling with mental health the past few days, seven months pregnant, trying to stay sane. Okay, Send well, Monster Mash a big hug. Yesterday, we had somebody join our live whose husband is a psychotherapist working with the NHS helpline. And they have dozens of people waiting for people to call because people don't know it's available. What was the helpline? So it's the NHS psychotherapy helpline. And oh. you can get a bit of counselling on the phone. Yeah. So do it now. Do it now. Or other people that listen to yeah. this live, go and do it. Yeah. Because they've got available psychotherapists sitting there waiting to take the calls. That's monster People don't know it's an available thing. Can I just quickly say as well, also Anxiety UK, the website yeah. who we've been working with in the past, are doing uh, online streamed, yeah. and I think Zoom room type things, uh, therapy sessions, where you can have group therapy or you can have one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions. So. They are, there are some services out there, so do, do go to yes, anxiety.org. Don't suffer alone. It's terribly hard. I was thinking... Seven months pregnant as well so in this in this situation. It's pregnant. It's so hard to be pregnant yeah. anyway because everything is magnified and you worry more. But just reach out and get some help. Um, do you have to okay. add tartar sauce, so someone said. we have butter. We have... No, you can use just self-raising... Uh, you can use... Plain flour and baking powder if you want. This gives a certain kind of rise to it, but it will still be nice. Right, so we could have lemon curd. We could have jam. Take these over. Uh, can I can only take, okay. You could put there you whatever go, guys. you wanted on this. I had a babysitter that introduced me to lemon curd. She used to shut me up Mark, by putting... She's you're always she's always worried. No, really she's always worried that I'm gonna say something awful. I'm always nervous. And all I'm talking about is lemon curd. And my babysitter used to put so much between two slices of white bread, clearly to shut me up because I okay, wouldn't yeah, stop cool. asking questions. I'm saying shut me up. Are there any kids out there? Are there any kids out there? After the count of five, I want you to say bum bum. Mark, don't do this again. One. Mom. Two, three, four, five.
Bam bam. If you get someone who's younger than me, they'll be too short. Right, I'm wanting to rush this along a bit so people aren't bored waiting. Oh, look at those. Daisy, age 10. Oh, oh look. <gasps> Daisy, This is like 10. a doorstop of joy. Look at it. So oh, oh, idiot. Oh, soft and fluffy and just delicious. But um, I'm not sure if that one's ready. Let me have a look. Mm. Can you say hello to Bowden, age three? And Belle, aged one. Hi, Bowden and Belle. What lovely Beautiful name. names. Bowden just I'm shouted. So Bowden just so shouted, bum fun. That's my husband's fault. He's very, very naughty. Don't call Yum, me. yum, bum, bum. Oh! Stop it. Stop it. Poo. <laughs> oh, please stop. Okay, I will. Wee, wee. Mark. <laughs> Boobies! Mark! <laughs> I mean it. Now stop it. Uh, I'm going to make you eat this raw Welsh cake. <laughs> <laughs> you could throw it at me and knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you? So look at that. All doughy and yummy and lovely. Just cooked in the pan. Isn't that delicious? Delicious. Right, I'm going to open one up. Oh, did you put butter on it? Yeah. Ah, now yeah, you're talking. Stay that side. Okay. She doesn't want me any near, anywhere near her. No. I'm not being naughty. Look at that. <gasps> oh my God, spot. look at that. Let's get it over here. Oh, look at that team. Look at that team. Don't go to the buttons, don't need to. Right, look at that team. <laughs> God, it's because it's got a big lump of bread. Please, can Nadia wear a microphone? Can you please explain the situation with the microphone? Oh, I'm sorry, there's a problem with the microphone. It's, it's, it's YouTube's fault, not ours. Sorry. And it's because Mark always really shouts, so you really notice the difference. I'll talk really quietly then. He shouts poo, so poo, loudly. Poo, 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 bum, bum, wee, wee. Okay, look. I can't bum, find bum, a bum, knife, wee. so I'm having to use a spoon. Look at that. You haven't got a knife? This is oh, remarkable. No. I don't think I've ever seen a cookery show do that. Do you have honey? No. Jam? No. Lemon curd? No. Just like that? Yes. Okay, give that to me. God, did you hear the throat? Did you hear my throat did a hiccup of excitement? It went... Thank you. Is it nice? Bye. Bye. Mm. Yum, yum in your bum bum. Oh, Mark. I'm so sorry. I really must apologise for him. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, my <sighs> So there you go. Griddle cakes. Have a go at them. They're really easy. But remember, keep the gas low because you want to cook them right. You don't want them to burn on the outside and be raw in the middle. You've got to cook them nice and slow on a heavy base pan. Is it yum? See you on Wednesday, it's four o'clock. Bye. <laughs>